All right, so hopefully you just saw my video about 45, 45, 90 special right triangles, okay? And just like I explained before, these are special not because they're like special triangles, but because the angles inside of them are special, okay? So with the 45, 45, 90, again, I'll just briefly write it up here, you know that the pre-existing ratios are 1, 1, radical 2, okay? And that is because we know in right triangles... Uh, the reason why we have sine, cosine, and tangent is because it already sets up those scale factors and those ratios for us. So we don't have to always find it. We know that all right triangles are proportionate to each other, and that is why sine, cosine, and tangent exist. Okay? So these are the special, uh, this is a 45, 45, 90, and those are all the side lengths. So 30, 60, 90, the same way. If I told you I knew this, and I knew that this was 60 degrees, I could tell you everything else about this triangle. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Mr. Schwann, of course we know that this is going to be 30 degrees up here because 30 plus 60 plus 90 is 180. Okay, But all the side lengths are this. Opposite of 30 is 1. Opposite of 60 is radical 3. And opposite of the hypotenuse is 2. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, wait, Mr. Schwann, I thought, I thought the biggest side is the hypotenuse. Well, it is. Well, wait, but 3 is bigger. No, the square root of 3 isn't bigger than 2. If you take the square root of 3, it's like 1.7 something, which is smaller than 2. So, think about it this way. The smallest angle... The smallest angle gets the smallest number. Okay? The biggest angle gets the biggest number. And the middle angle gets the middle number, right? So that's how that works. So these are the preset sides. If I give you nothing else about a 30-60-90 triangle, you must memorize this. Super crucial that you memorize this. These are the preset ratio sides for a 30-60-90 special right triangle. Crucial that you know that. Okay? So again, just like with a 45-45-90, we can use that to find the sides of a other 30, 60, 90 triangles. So let's say I say give you this. Okay. Let's say we know this is 60. And I tell you that this side is 4. Okay. And I did find all the other sides and the angles. Okay. Well, of course I know the missing angle is 30. So this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay. And then I have to set up a scale factor. Okay. So hopefully I have a side that matches, first of all. Okay, well I do, because look, opposite of 30 is 1, and opposite of 30 is 4. So those are the matching sides of my right triangle. So when I set up my proportion, it's 1 over 4, or 4 over 1, whichever one you want, equals, uh, let's solve the hypotenuse first, so 2. So 2 over, we'll call this x, so 2 over x. Okay, so lucky for us, okay, how do I get from 1 to 2? Okay, I multiply by 2. So how do I get from 4 to x? I multiply by 2. And so 4 times 2 equals 8, so x equals 8. Fantastic. Okay, so I know the hypotenuse is 8, and we'll call this side y, because I don't know what y is. Okay, so using my same scale factor, 1 over 4 equals... And then we use radical 3 over y. Okay? Now, I don't know how to get from 1 to radical 3. Okay? So this time we'll just have to cross multiply. Okay? We'll just have to cross multiply here. So 1 times y equals y. Okay? And 4 times radical 3? Well, I can't multiply those together, so I'll just put them right next to each other. So y equals 4 radical 3. And that's all I could do. Okay? So the missing side here for y is 4 radical 3. Okay? It's crucially that you set up your triangle, and then if you have two similar triangles, we know all right triangles are uh, proportionate or similar to each other, and so you make sure you match up the matching sides and solve using a proportion. But you have to know the original triangle in order to do that. Okay? So let's do one more example here, but I'll use it from this worksheet. Okay? Like, let's look at number 7 here. Oh, yeah. Okay, number 7. Okay, I see that I have 60 degrees down here in the bottom right uh, corner of number 7. So I know my missing angle is 30. Excellent. Okay. So if that's 30, I know in a normal triangle, okay, if I'm going to draw a replica of what's up here, okay, 
So here's 60, here's 30. So I know opposite of 30 is 1. Uh, opposite of 60 is radical 3, and here's 2. Okay. So I know for my scale factor, it's going to be 2 over 16, because those are both the hypotenuses. Okay, so I write 2 over 16. If you wanted to reduce, you could. So I can use 1 over 8 as my scale factor, sure. Okay, so 1 over 8 equals... Uh, let's solve for x first. So square root of 3 over x. Okay, so I have a proportion. Let's cross multiply. 1 times x equals x. And then 8 times radical 3 is just 8 radical 3. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And then let's find y. Okay, and y matches up with 1. So it's going to be... 1 over 8 equals 1 over y. Okay, so how do I get from 1 to 1? This, again, this looks like a trick question, but it's really not. So 1 to 1, I multiply by 1. So here I multiply 8 times 1, which gives me 8 equals y. So y equals 8. Okay, so x equals 8 radical 3 and y equals 8. Okay, so it's really that simple. There's nothing really complicated to it. Okay, and uh, hopefully this helps you to do the rest of your homework. Again, all you have to do is solve, set up your scale factor or set up your proportion, and then it makes it really easy to solve from there. The critical thing is do not change the radical. Just multiply. If it's a number and a radical, just literally butt them next to each other, and that's what the answer is.